Venerated Swamiji Maharaj was born on August 25, 1818 in Agra, India. He became fluent in several languages at a young age, including Hindi, Urdu, Persian, and Gurumukhi. As an adult, Swamiji Maharaj worked briefly in worldly endeavors. However, he soon gave them up to become fully devoted to spiritual pursuits. Swamiji Maharaj knew Sant Tulsi Sahib since a very early age and studied with him into adulthood. After Tulsi Sahib's passing, Swamiji Maharaj meditated alone in a room for 15 years. Later, upon the request of his disciple, the venerated Hazur Maharaj, he agreed to share the method of inner heavenly light and sound with the general public. When Hazur Maharaj realized during a meditation that not only is Radha Swami an ever reverberating or inner heavenly sound, but also Swamiji Maharaj is himself Radha Swami. The faith became named Radha Swami Satsang. According to Swamiji Maharaj, there are three essentials of Radha Swami Satsang. First, a living guru. Second, Nam, or inner heavenly sound. And third, Sang, or true teachings. By satisfying these three principles, one can be liberated from the cycle of life and death. In today's program, we will present the saintly teachings from Swamiji Maharaj's book, Sarbachan Radha Swami Poetry, Volume 1. Part 1. Mangla Charan, Prelude. Benediction, prayer for the success of anything, pronouncing a blessing, wishing joy, congratulation. Radha Swami Nam, whoever resides, gets across the ocean of life, troubles vanish, bliss abides, and completely gones all strife. Such is this unfathomable name that to none its secrets are known. He who comes to know the same is no more on the earth born. By reciting Radha Swami Nam, let thy life most fruitful be. This is the true and real Nam, keep it innermost within thee. Wondrous is Swami's grandeur, except Radha, the Spirit Prime, no one can see the splendor, supreme, spiritual, sublime. In form and state, not manifest is Radha Swami Nam in that place, there none can reach and rest without His mercy and grace. I pay my obeisance before Radha Swami, by whose grace and mercy, innumerable jivas, living beings, are being awakened. I bow again and again before Satguru and before the Lotus Region and Satnam, true name. He is the beginning of all, but himself without a beginning. He is Anam, the highest deity since times immemorial. He has come here from his august abode as Sant Incarnate. He has launched a boat in the ocean of existence to enable jivas or living beings to get across. He mercifully takes us in the boat. He convinces the jivas of the efficacy of Shabd and discloses to them the secret of Surat. He saves them from Karam and Param, rites and rituals, illusions and delusions. I bow before him ten million times. I prostrate myself before him thousand million times and again prostrate hundred thousand million times. I have found Radha Swami, the very spring and fountain head of bhakti, devotion, has been revealed to me. He teaches a unique mode of bhakti, devotion, of which the Vedas and other scriptures had no idea. Sat Purush, God, abides in the fourth Lok region. There, sons dwell in everlasting beatitude. The secrets of that abode are revealed by perfect Guru. There resounds a wonderful melody of the bin, or harp. Beyond is the Darbar, sphere, of Alak Purush, the lord of the sixth spiritual region, which can only be perceived by Surat, or spirit entity. Above that is Agam Lok, heavenly realm, which is unique. Only Sant Surat's realized souls enjoy that bliss. From there is visible the eternal terrace of the most marvelous mansion of the Supreme Father, Radha Swami Dayal. My Surat soul is now in an exalted state of ecstasy. 
it has merged in Anami Purush, Supreme Being. Bachan, Discourse, One, Shabd, One. Come, my dear companions, let us sing RT, worship, in this season of Basant, Spring. The Purush, Supreme Being, the Ancient of Ancients, has graciously made his advent here. He reveals the secrets of Alak, invisible, and Agam, inaccessible. He declares his name, Radha Swami. He has opened the rail track of Surat Shabd Yoga. He takes Jivas, living beings, to Agam Lok, the inaccessible region. He daily holds satsang, where the praises of Radha Swami are sung every moment. Let us offer our hearts to him in perfect devotion. He cuts away the snares of Kal, negative force, and drives away the afflictions caused by him. He is the infinite and omnipotent being. May I fix my eyes and continue gazing at him. I am suffering from intense viraha, pangs of yearning as if my heart has been pierced with a dagger. I cannot be at rest until I get his darshan face to face. The whole world and all that pertains to it appear like poison to me. Radha Swami is a reservoir of Amrit, nectar. I will be satisfied only if I am allowed to drink it to my heart's content. Nothing pleases me except Radha Swami. The four logs, regions, are of little avail to me. I've discarded all gyan, knowledge, tan, contemplation, jog, meditation, and virag, renunciation, as worthless devices. I'm like a chakor, bird enamored of the moon, and Radha Swami is like the moon to me. Satnam, true name, anami, having no name, does not attract me. A fish cannot live without water. A black bee cannot stay in tranquility without lotus. A papiha, a rain-loving bird, remains thirsty without swanti, celestial constellation, rain. A mother cannot bear separation from a son. This exactly has been the state of my restless trepidation. None understands whom should I confide to. It is Radha Swami alone who can bestow any gift on me. There is no other being so omniscient. If there is such an exclusive bhakti, devotion, it shall cut asunder all sorts of bondages of this multicolored mind. I always sing the praises of Radha Swami in all gratefulness. I sacrifice my heart at his holy feet. How far should I describe his unbounded mehar, grace, new waves of daya, mercy, flow from him every day? How can worldly people understand his beatitude? It is the Hans Jivas, high-class spiritual beings who appreciate it and attain peace. My luck took such a favorable turn this time that I have come under the protection of Radha Swami. Vast reservoirs of bhakti, devotion and prem, love have opened up. Myriads of Jivas are now being redeemed. Praises of Radha Swami are resounding in all the four directions. It seems as if the region of Kal would be depopulated. My merciful Swami Lord has in his moj, will, and pleasure ordained that those who become din, humble, will be redeemed. I, a worthless slave at his holy feet, give assurance of redemption to all the jivas. Withdraw your surat, spirit current from all directions. Fix it at the holy feet and enjoy the infinite bliss of Amy, Ambrosia. How should I describe the grandeur of the Sava, congregation of Hansas, celestial beings, their rain showers of shabds? There are flashes of lightning and the resounding of thunder. What more should I say about that wondrous glory? The streams of Bagnal are gushing forth. Rivers of Sukmana have washed away the bridge of delusions. A Trikuti prism, I cleanse myself of all impurities, and at Mansarovar, I am rid of all perversity. My Surat, spirit, attaining the status of a Hansa, merges in the inaccessible Shabd of the region of Sun, spirit spare, and penetrates further. 
I reach the top of Mahasan. Radha Swami is pleased with me. I open the window of Banwar Gupta and hear the voice of Satpurush, Supreme Being. Hansa's celestial beings come forward to receive the new entrant, Surat. They have come to take me to Alak Lok, Heavenly Realm. The paragon Surat goes in and gets Darshan, vision of Guru, of Alak Purush, invisible being. Songs of congratulations are being sung there. All Hansa's denizens of Alak Lok jointly perform RT. I affect my entry into Agam Lok, Heavenly Realm. Secrets of Agam Purush, Supreme God, are revealed to me. No one has revealed the secrets of that region. Rare sons have spoken about it in a gupt, hidden way. Taking pity on Jiva's living beings, Radha Swami has now revealed the secrets openly. O oh, unfortunate Jiva's, listen to me. Radha Swami will augment your fortune. Hurry up, run up, hold fast to his holy feet. Accept his saran, protection in the way you can. You will not get such an opportunity again. Somehow or other, accomplish your task right now. Give of all rituals, observances and hypocritical activities. Elevate your surat, spirit and penetrate into Brahmant. When your surat, spirit attains full concentration and withdrawal, you will reach Satlok, the eternal region. From there you will run into Alak Lok, the sixth spiritual region and then penetrate into Agam Lok, the seventh spiritual region. You will get Darshan, vision from Agam Purush, Lord of the seventh spiritual region, and your Surat will assume a wonderful form. There are rows and multitudes of Hansas, celestial beings, living in perfect harmony. The whole region is dazzling with the light of millions and billions of suns and moons. Flow should I describe the infinite brilliance of that region, there are beds of lotuses and fringes of dazzling diamonds all around. Music of merriment is resounding everywhere and innumerable pools of umbrid nectar are overflowing there. The ground, if it can be called a ground at all, started with emeralds, diamonds and rubies. Suns and moons form a canopy there where lies the throne of Radha Swami, Hansas, denizens of Alak Lok congregate in all majesty. The whole region abounds in fascinating grandeur. The songs of blissful rejoicings are being sung in ever-increasing ecstasy and joy. Such is the unique region of Radha Swami. He grants abode to his Nij Bhakts, special devotees in it. Generous viewers, Thank you for joining us in today's selections from Sarbachan Radha Swami Poetry Volume 1 by Swamiji Maharaj, Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom. 